that's when we really get to focus on ourselves, you know, work on all the fundamental stuff and just working on our techniques and, and making sure we have all the plays right. Nikhil, what keyed the turnaround? You won five of your last seven games. What were some of the main factors? Um, I think it's the way we approach practice. You know, um, midway through the season, we started to get banged up a little bit. Um, <coughs> not too many bad injuries, but, you know, midway through that season, towards the, the end of the season, your body starts to feel it. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really a mental thing. You got to go to practice and, and be prepared for that. Nikhil, what would it mean for you to have Bill Nick and Sick season and coach you guys and help you grow even more? What has he taught you so far? Uh, you know, it means the world to me because he's taught me a lot, um, not even in the football aspect, uh, off the field as a man. And, and he's helped me grow and mature, so uh, it'd be great for me to see him come back. Are yeah. you surprised that they stood with the coordinators or at least Billy and Mike? <coughs> Um, I wasn't too surprised because, um, you know, they've done a great job this year and, you know, I was kind of suspecting it. Okay, well, Billy said at one point that you two didn't get <coughs> off on the best, of, best foot, um, that it took you a while to kind of build your relationship. What was the, the early days like there and how did you feel that relationship? You know, um, last year in the, in the spring, you know, I was, I was still a freshman. I was still thinking like a freshman. You know, he comes from Alabama, so it's like, he wasn't. He wasn't dealing with it. He wasn't putting up with any of it. And that—that's what I respect him so much for, and that's what I thank him so much for. He helped me grow as a person. You've said over and over again that coaches like him haven't babied you. How has he helped you progress just as a player? You um, it's just helping with my approach with everything, with practice, with games. You know, uh, acting like a professional, um, and and that's something I really need to help with after last season. I think that's. That's what they've helped me a lot with in this off season and, and during the, the, the season. What are some of the things you've learned from Coach Graham in your two years with him? Um, you know, he's taught me a lot of things. Um, you know, the biggest thing is really my character. Um, you know, we're football players and a lot of people look up to us. Um, and a lot of the times we don't even notice how many people are looking at us. And he's really taught me to carry myself in a manner that my grandmother would like me to act. Uh, my teammates would like me to act, and and this is the person going forward in in my life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when there's coaching change, teams don't necessarily play too well in a bowl game. <laughs> Do you think this team, you know, just either four tied or just generally, will have the proper motivation? You know, I I think we're all motivated, um, regardless of what's going on with the with the coaching situation. Uh, we all want to win. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, players play, and we want to win the game. Nobody likes to lose. And, and at the end of the day, we're still our brothers. We're still a part of the brotherhood. And, and we want to win not only for Coach Graham, but for ourselves and for our brothers. What was the feeling like winning the Territorial Cup game last week for you? Um, it was like a dream come true. You know, I've been watching that game since I was a freshman, ever since I started getting recruited. And um, especially being from Arizona, um, it was great to win that game, especially after last year. Where have you seen Manny Wilkins grow the most over the course of the year? Mm, how poised he is, you know, how well he deals with backlash. You know, a lot of people could have crumbled under under pressure and after everything that was said about him. But, you know, he did a great job and he had great pocket presence and, and he continues to grow in that area and, and as a quarterback. Do you think you could have the year you had if you were not Manny's roommate? Um, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. You know, uh, regardless of us being roommates or not, uh, we still have that quarterback wide receiver connection. He respects me as a man. I respect him as a man, and and that's the most important thing. How gratifying was it to see your good buddy Chase Lucas grow the way he did this year? You know, it was great for me to see that because I know how hard he works. Um, I know how difficult it is for him transitioning from running back wide receiver to cornerback, and you know he had a little bit of a rough time last year just because. That's a hard position to adjust to, but to see him do what he did this year, it, it warms my heart, honestly. Did you, did you give us some tips like throughout the season, how to play the position just from wide receiver perspective? Uh, for Chase? Yeah. Um, uh, I didn't really give him any tips. It was just really like us going at it, you know. Um, a lot of people think I made him a great corner and I helped him a lot, but at the end of the day, he helped me a lot too, you know. He's a great athlete and at the end of the day, um, he pushed me every day because, you know, us being brothers and being so competitive, nobody wants to lose that matchup. So we've helped each other tremendously, um, not only in college but in high school too. And I credit a lot of my success to him pushing me and, 
and help me become the player that, that I want to become. How what did it mean to cross the thousand yard threshold or at least get there? Um, you know, it was it was it was a good feeling. Um, because that that's something that was that was a goal of mine. Um, and it was it was a really good feeling to get that. Right out of thousand. Seen Herm <laughs> Edwards on TV. You have any thoughts about him? Um, uh, I don't know too much. You know, he was my coach in the in the Under Armour game, and okay. and um, I didn't really get to talk to him too much because there was so much going on during that week. But um, it's all let God take the wheel right now for me. How, how did he strike you just as a coach? <laughs> um, you know, um, I'm not trying to think about that aspect too much right now. I'm just trying to focus on my game and focus on the ball game and, and, and that moving forward. And I'll focus on that later when that time comes. One more question for Nikhil. <clears throat> Nikhil, I'm a, I'm a Perry guy. Any chance tomorrow's state championship, Perry pulls the upset? Um, you know, anything can happen in football, but you know I'm going my world 100%. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.